Hey good people, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh, how are you all doing? Today I am redoing an episode which I did a few years back and uh, I think I did this exact episode, I don't remember which year it was but I actually started off with this comparison, uh, these three fragrances, minus YSO IDP, Savage versus Bleu de Chanel versus Aqua Digio Profumo. So this is sort of like an update video you can think of with an inclusion of YSO IDP because I feel these are some of the top four in this category currently with the freshy these are dominating the market so i will just you know because i don't assume everybody knows everything if this comes up as redundant you can avoid it but always it's nice to do update videos so people actually can be benefited okay so uh, hopefully you will enjoy this video i'll try to keep it under 10 minutes so what is this for uh, what are they what are they doing here all these four fragrances mostly these are known to be some of the top sellers one thing from different four different brands designer brands and these are supposedly the four of the best blue fragrances for summer and they sell like hotcake in Bangladesh especially I can tell you my country they are always top seller all these fragrances are selling like hotcake any page they bring them boom gone and some of them they can go out of uh, stock for some time like YSL ADP this one sometimes people cannot find nowadays uh, Aqua Digio Profumo the big 180 ml bottle sometimes a bit rare um, then Dior Sabas 200 ml sometimes go out of the uh, like you know a stock for many people because these are selling like a lot so um, i'll tell you uh, like a fair comparison and these are different size bottles okay as you can tell it's not going to be the this versus that you know it's going to be unfair so i'll assume what the 100 ml of each bottle how much they cost what longevity you get what is the best smelling one according to me what is the best value something like that so it's analysis kind of like a fun for me uh, or should be for you as well okay hopefully you enjoy that so first of all uh, let's start with Bleu de Chanel okay I have 150 ml this is EDT they have different versions EDP Parfum and I think body spray as well so I don't want to pick them up I know this smell so I can tell you I just point at it this one comes with a magnetic cap okay and this is the very first of its nature out of all these four your Sauvage I would say sort of inspired by it and sort of like over overtook Bleu de Chanel afterwards and then Aqua Digio Profumo and then followed by YSL EDP YSO IDP was the last one, so I'll talk about it last. So first of all, Bleu de Chanel. First of all, uh, very expensive. The most expensive here is this one. If you buy 100 ml, uh, out of all these, this is going to cost you the most. How much? Different countries have different prices. Uh, but the magnetic top is really nice. Bottle is really beautiful. I really love these bottles. They're very elegant, classy, and the scream of sheer class from Chanel. Uh, they are faked a lot, so be careful where you buy them from. Uh, the smell out of all these four this is my most favorite smell okay i'll just tell you without any hesitation the opening this is the best opening in any blue fresh fragrance many companies try to clone it try to sort of like uh, make copy of it yeah there are some of them they do smell really good clones of it but that fragrance like shogun or blue shades or shades blue of armaf there are few clones but i'll tell you what nobody could actually replicate that opening of Le de chanel it's just so posh really really good quality grapefruit followed by some incense kind of like a spicy dry down woody a bit darker but blood Chanel is not exactly a blue fragrance it's kind of like a dark blue fragrance okay it's good for nighttime daytime but edt is especially good for summer so this one for me is the most expensive in this list uh, but also got the nice bottle nice smell but the performance out of this four this is the most uh, like uh, underperforming, I would say like uh, less performing out of these four. So if you uh, make calculation of everything, this fragrance is not perhaps the top in this four list, but I will tell you in the end. So strong points, the smell, the bottle, the brand image, this is now still the boss. Uh, the weak point, the performance is kind of after reformulation of years, this one has gone down in performance. It does not last that much. Okay, EDP is better. So second one I'm going to talk about is Dior Sauvage. This is a 200 ml bottle. If you buy 100 ml, this is going to be much cheaper than Bleu de Chanel, at least by 30 or 25, 30 dollars. Also has a magnetic top, really nice. Okay. And it looks really good. I mean, like Dior Sauvage next to Bleu de Chanel bottle, it looks really, really good cylindrical bottle. And it looks classy. Also faked a lot, but careful if you buy these, buy from legit sources, because this can be expensive mistakes if you buy from, uh, let's say, fishy market. So... Dior Sauvage also has gone through reformulation. That's my prediction because I did compare my 2016 bottle and the newer bottles 2020 and onwards. Uh, this one is 2022, January. Uh, performance is still good, very good. Compared to Bleu Chanel, it lasts like double the time. Projection is very good. People can smell it around and I can smell it on the shirt, but it's less sweeter than before. 
So price wise, I would say this is cheaper than Blade Chanel. Dior and Chanel are very, very close to each other in competition. So uh, performance and price wise, Savage beats Blade Chanel. But opening wise, I feel Blade Chanel is much higher class. They have nothing in common. This one, this one, have nothing in common. Got the grapefruit, this one got the Calibrian Bergamo. Um, I would say both are really good. I love Savage's opening, but I prefer Blade Chanel a little bit better. So upscale wise, Blade Chanel is a bit more upscale than Savage. Savage smells nowadays really common just like blood chanel savage is more common and savage also have a lot of clones um if you want to buy this i would say yes this is a better buy than your uh, blood chanel if you talk about practicality this 200 ml costs less than uh, less price than 150 ml of blood chanel already a better value so value proposition brand image everything this actually beats blood chanel so two are gone let's talk about the other two um i think echo dj profumo it was also not very far away from this release. These were like kind of like on the, almost the same uh, time they were released, like around one or two years span, if I'm not mistaken. This actually is uh, not uh, like a first release. This one was released. Uh, it's a flanker too, very popular, Aqua Digio, which is a top seller as well on its own right. And that one is a fragrance that uh, came after Aqua Digio. Was a big seller, big hit because of community hype uh, jeremy hyped this uh, really really well i had a couple of bottles of it i'll show you my bottles are finished uh, but i had thing i hope hopefully i'll pick it up i did not plan for this bottles are very dirty and dusty i think this is the one oh this is my yeah this is the older style bottle which had magnetic cap and now they changed it to i'll show you uh, this one this is no longer a magnetic cap this is click on these are new batches and uh, I did comparison between the two. When you see, this is kind of like a shiny silver writing. This is more like a matte white finish, but I don't mind that. Just the miss, I miss the magnetic cap. So I also went through a few bottles of it because of the page I repurchased it. This was another bottle that's finished recently. So this is more, most probably my fourth or fifth Aquadigio Profumo bottle. And you would understand why would I buy, keep buying it. This is one of my most repurchased fragrances because of my page. These four fragrances are top sellers for Deccan people go crazy. Maybe not Blood Chanel that frequently, but this, this, and this top sellers. Aquadio Profimo sells like hotcake, full bottle, partial, uh, Deccan. This is a king in Bangladesh market. Spicy, fresh, aromatic, a little bit darker take on Aquadigio with much better performance. I would say this one is more noticeable than Savage because this one projects more. Sometimes I cannot smell Savage on me. This one definitely can be detected. And it has that more modern vibe compared to Aqua Digio. Um, and I would say the 180 ml of this actually uh, is cheaper than Savage. So price value wise, the <laughs> this fragrance, you know, like Aqua Digio Profumo is a better value than this and this, okay? Just if you're talking about strictly price versus what you get and performance. Smell wise, I would not say this is my most favorite in the line. I love Essenza more, okay? But this is also my trusted buddy. A very confidence booster if I need like a summer outing, evening time, I need to smell great and I don't have to worry, but I don't I can't make up my mind. This one is a safe choice. So out of the three so far, uh, all rounding, you know, uh, I would say Aquarius Profumo is a little bit got edge on Savage and Bleu de Chanel. Okay. So these are the three. Downside of this fragrance, this is also very, very popular and everybody knows this DNA, nothing new it offers. Okay. Last but not least, YSL YDP. Why have a little bottle here, 60 ml? Because when I searched for it, my 100 ml got finished previous to. I could not uh, secure a 200 ml bottle or 100 ml because they are sold out. Now they do have 200 ml, but this actually, if you notice, it's my older batch. The new ones, they say, oh, they perfume here, okay? So not the same. This performance actually is better than the current batches, but not by far. Uh, the YSL YDP still performs like a lot. But this one, just uh, like Aquadigio Profumo, this and this, used to be all magnetic top, now it doesn't have. But YDP never had a magnetic top, but this cap is very good quality, okay? And this is also flanker to YSLY. And this is the best for me uh, overall from this line. Really long lasting. I got this green apple, sweetness, tongue I mean like very blue, fresh, sharp fragrance, but boring. <laughs> I got bored of this fragrance. I used to love this a lot, but if you keep wearing it, it doesn't do that much. You know, it's just the same smell. Uh, just like this, all other ones, but 
this is the one that gets boring really quickly. I never got tired of Bleu de Chanel, to be honest. Uh, Savoir, sometimes I do get tired, but after one month, I, I love this again. Equity Profumo is more or less never a hate uh, or never that boring, but this is the most uh, boring for me at this current moment if you talk about smell. Performance-wise, this is the best out of the four. So you see, everybody has its own strong point. The price on this is actually cheaper than all three if you talk about 100 ml versus 100 ml but nowadays it's a bit expensive like 90 dollars uh, so i don't know why but in general out of this four this used to be ysl's uh, fragrance used to be the most affordable so everything has a strong point very difficult to pick up a personal favorite i'll tell you my ultimate uh, verdict if you talk about the smell out of this four i love Bleu de chanel the most if you talk about performance ysl idp is the best if you talk about the most crowd pleaser okay out of all these they all do that everybody will love this smell but uh, the most unique one out of these four like people know Sauvage like everybody knows this one Sydney most common Aventus most common uh, Aquadigio Profumo somewhat still common YDP and Bleu de Chanel if you pick up one of these two high likely people nowadays will give you compliments because Bleu de Chanel not many people wearing right now and YSO YDP is still a bit newer right so uh, overall as a package if you talk about price versus what you get and if you have to get only one out of these four uh, depend on your necessity if you ask me uh, just for performance what's the best performer go for YADP overall packaging overall package which one is the best package Savage or Aquadigio Profimo 200 ml okay best smelling one for me is Bleu de Chanel so there you go that's my verdict uh, no clear winner I would say but if price is not a concern if I have to get rid of all of these and keep only one this one, Bleu de Chanel. This is just my personal choice. May, many of you will not agree with me because you'll say now uh, this is not doing it for me. It's okay. You pick your winner, which is your favorite. Thank you very much for watching. And I think I'll go upload after doing one more video. Then we'll upload this. Have a nice day. See you soon.